okay just gonna do a quick video on what the age age of accountability is and I say that in quotation because there really is no definitive age of accountability in scripture in fact that term age of accountability does not even appear in scripture and I do apologize if you can hear my uh, computer fan it's going off pretty loudly but what is the age of accountability okay and like I said earlier there is no definitive age of accountability and I'm gonna show you why okay but I'm gonna show you the best of, I can, of how I can explain what this age of accountability is without defining an exact age because there is no exact age. Okay, Turn to Romans chapter 3 and verse number 20. Therefore by the deeds of the law sh uh, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Okay, What is the law? It's the knowledge of sin. You understand you're a sinner, you understand what sin is. You understand that sin is the transgression of God's law. Okay, now there is a heretic out there by the name of the Word Prophet, who is saying that basically, un, basically, children, infants, and, and little children go to hell if they essentially are not saved. And this is a very, very wicked heresy. It comes from Roman Catholicism, first of all, and the Word Prophet is espoused in Catholic heresies. And I tried to rebuke him on that, and he of course got prideful and actually quoted me scriptures about God speaking directly to Old Testament prophets and apply that to himself. So apparently he thinks that going against him and disagreeing with him is akin to disagreeing with an Old Testament prophet who is receiving direct messages from God. I mean, the guy's got serious pride issues and an issue of papal infallibility in his own little mind. But the thing about this thing of, oh, children go to hell if they're not saved or if they're not baptized, which of course ties into the whole infant baptism heresy, um, what is the law? It's the knowledge of sin. Okay. Well, young children can't be condemned against the law. I'll explain why. This makes a problem for the Catholic doctrine of infant baptism because young children do not know right from wrong. I'm going to show you the scripture on that. Turn to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verses 39. Deuteronomy 1, 39. Moreover, you little ones, which he said uh, should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go thither, and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. Okay, children have no knowledge of good and evil. But what does Romans 3.20 say? The law is a knowledge of sin. So what's going on? Young children have no knowledge of sin in the law. So thus they can't be condemned against the law. Because you can't be condemned against it if you don't know what it is. That simple. God is a just God. He's a just judge. Uh, Genesis chapter 18, verse 23 and 25. God does not punish the righteous but the wicked. And children do not know they're sinners. They cannot understand that they're sinners. They're not mentally able to understand that. But Catholics contradict, Catholics, papists, like the word prophet, contradict God's word as they baptize babies, which he may deny it, but they baptized babies because they believe that the babies are tainted with sin and need a new birth via baptism. And this is in the Catholic Church Catechism, paragraph uh, 1250. So, young children cannot be condemned against the law because they do not understand right from wrong. They do not understand good from evil. And the law is the knowledge of sin. So what is the age of accountability? Well, it depends on how, it basically depends on when you are old enough to understand that you're a sinner and this can be different for different people that's why I said there is no definitive age of accountability because different people uh, at different ages will come to understanding I mean I've known people who understand at the age of 12 that they're sinners and need to get saved I personally did not fully understand it till I was actually 15 years old so it varies from different people so there is no definitive age of accountability because it just depends on on when the person is old enough to understand and that can change from different people some people uh, may have some kind of mental disability where they're not able to understand until a little bit older. Some people may be very neurologically smart to where they can understand at a younger age. It varies. It just, there is no definitive age. It, it changes. It just depends on when the person is able to. And that depends on when they're able to, depends on what condition they have. It, it, there's all kinds of factors that tie into it. So what is the age of accountability? Uh, for each person, it's just when they're old enough to understand. And that can be different for different people. So. That's the age of accountability. There is no definitive age. It just depends on the person and when you're old enough to understand. So, I wanted to do a video responding to the heresy of the word prophet because 
saying that that children go to hell because oh god will send children to hell that's wicked that's catholic that's that's roman catholic heresies god does not send children to hell okay you read about that in matthew chapter 18 verses 10 to 14 children are safe in god they have an angel watching over them that reports back to god you read about that again matthew chapter chapter 18 verses 10 to 14. so saying that god sends people sends children to hell uh you're worshiping a different god than i do the God you worship is a false God. If you're saying that, that your God sends children to hell, that's wicked. That's Catholic. So don't be deceived by this word prophet heretic. He's also he's also a baptismal regeneration heretic. So there's that, uh, which is a whole other issue, which is also a Catholic heresy as well. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.